my name is Arlene Neal. I'm the founder and managing attorney at Neap Legal. I've started Neap Legal in 2010, so I've been I've had Neap Legal um, running for about 15 years. Overall, I've been practicing since 1998. Um, I started at a small practice, and then I went to a larger law firm. So my experience spans, you know, small, large, and now um, entrepreneur. I would say entrepreneurial um, practice. So, yeah, that's who I am. What obstacles have you faced while getting into law or starting your own firm due to your race or background? I remember when I first started, I was very conscious of my accent. And um, because I did not grow up in the U.S. So I was very conscious of when I spoke, how I sounded. Um, and maybe that's why I went into patent prosecution, because I didn't have to speak to people. Um, and I remember one of my first mentors, I thought we had a really great relationship when he was mentoring me. And then I got a, another position, which, you know, I told him that I was leaving the state and I was moving to D.C. area. And, you know, and so I told the new um, firm that they could call him. And I didn't realize that he was talking to them. And just as he was talking to them, I was walking into his office and he made the comment of, you know, she's difficult to understand, right? And that really like shocked me because I didn't expect that he would, he would go there. <laughs> but, you know, and I think that made me even more conscious of the way I sounded, um, particularly in a prof professional setting. That was just something that, you know, I was concerned with um, entering law. And, and like I said, I think it had um, an impact on my practice because I think it, it made me go more towards the prosecution side. Um, maybe I wouldn't have gone for litigation, but I, I think subconsciously that has something to do with it. Do you feel like um, being a woman kind of brought on any obstacles that maybe you weren't expecting? I feel like I see enough women in the profession and enough women doing well. So I really never felt um, being a woman um, was an obstacle. Actually, sometimes I think it's a, it's a plus because my first major client I got I got from my connection in the woman in IP at AIPLA. Um, so I think, you know, I, I, I don't necessarily see it as, as something that I have to overcome. Um, I know the profession is, is mostly male and mostly primarily white male, but I think there's sufficient numbers in as far as women that we can help each other out if we choose to. What piece of advice would you give to others who want to follow this type of career path? Um, I think from the time I started working as an attorney, I I'm, I think my spirit is really entrepreneurial. So even though I was in big law, a part of me always wanted to be on my own and to be, have autonomy and to make decisions for myself and from the practice that I wanted to have. And I have not regretted it. I actually love it. Um, during the tough times when I've considered whether I should, what 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 my next step should be, I just I just could not get to the place of saying, oh, I'm going to go back into a law firm. No, <laughs> or to give up to give up, you know, trying to make the law firm that I wanted to make. So. If that's something somebody coming up wants to do, um, I would say definitely go for it. I think um, I would say get trained um, wherever you get the training, whether it's from a small firm or a large firm or whatever. But once you feel like you have the training and you can do the work, you know, understand all the different aspects of business. Understand that sometimes you will have to do the secretary work, so you need to know how to do everything. I think it's like in any small business, right? Small business people, you have to have wear many hats 
and sometimes you can hand those hats over and then sometimes you have to put them on and do the work yourself um but i think that's the fun of it that's the that's the thing that makes it great um so yeah i would definitely encourage anybody who wants to do it to say you know do it people are doing it and it's rewarding you can make a good living and you can you can be happy you know i think the i think the world is changing um now you have more remote work and all of that that wasn't the case when i started you know you can make your own rules um it's good and bad but you know if if being in charge and and being in charge of your destiny is something that you want to do i would definitely say do it what aspect of being a black owned woman owned law firm are you most proud of i see a lot of a black owned firms and i see a lot of women owned firms but i don't see a lot of the combination black and woman owned and i was thinking to myself well i gotta be proud that you know i've done this for almost 15 years um i've served clients from multinational companies to small clients my clients love me you know and i, I, was, just, I was really just thinking about it last night i'm like you know what that's that's something and that's something maybe i should I should say more that, you know, I'm a black woman, I'm out here, I'm running my own practice, I'm running my own firm and, and it's great.